I have accepted that I don't care if people think I'm a cheesy bitch because I don't give a fuck. Happy birthday. Thank you. Um, that's such a weird way to start an <laughs> on your birthday today. My birthday for the next like month, so it's fine. How was your first Mardi Gras? Well, Mardi Gras or Pride is always my favorite. Favorite. I feel like it's my birthday anyways. Whenever I get to play like a Pride or Mardi Gras show, I get so excited. Australians will stay awake and do what it takes and fully just be like ready to go. Cozy um, behind the camera there hasn't actually gone to sleep. Since Mardi Gras? Uh, kind of, yeah. Yeah, kind of <laughs> me too. It's okay. When I was at Mardi Gras on Saturday, I told someone that I was interviewing on Monday and they have a question for you. Tell us when to go. Go. Hey Kesha, our question is, what would you ask your 10 year old self? Love Tim and Rod. Love you Kesha. Oh, this kid. It's so sparkly. What would I ask my 10 year old self? The question was actually meant to be, what would you tell your 10 year old self? <laughs> ask is kind of more interesting. Uh, what would I ask my 10 year old self? Uh huh. I feel like, is that a good style choice? But what I would tell myself is, you know what, maybe no, but you are a true original. Dust yourself off and just keep on going. Your new album is called High Road. Yes, it certainly is. <laughs> That's a real interview. Why did you choose that title? Well, I'm um, a songwriter, so I'm really into wordplay. And after I put out Praying, I thought people would take it as like, oh, I'm taking the high road. It also is about how sometimes you just gotta get high a lyric in my own dance is, woke up this morning feeling myself, which is a riff I'm guessing on, yep. wake up in the morning feeling like he did it. Was it cathartic to write that song? Because listening to it front to back, it sounds kind of like a fuck you. Oh my God, it's like a full, exactly what's going on in my head all the time. Just like, what do other people expect from me? What am I supposed to do? What do they want? How do I deliver? She can't sing, no, yes I can't. It's like the internal dialogue of my brain. So that song was incredible incredibly therapeutic. And I have accepted that I don't care if people think I'm a cheesy bitch. As a fellow cheesy bitch, that's the song <laughs> that I really, I liked. Another thing in it was, so the internet called and it wants you back, but could you kind of rap and not be so sad? Do you think that people still expect you to be the Kesha that had the dollar sign, whatever that was? Yeah, I think that that, that girl, she was young and quite dumb, but like, when I first came out with music, I feel like I just felt like I always had to act so cool and tough. She introduced me to all of my fans I now have around the world, so like, we can't hate her. Now people are more open to musicians being themselves, whereas like when you first came out, you were like the party girl, and people just, yeah, wanted to put you in that box, whereas now you've got artists like Sophie and like Charlie yeah. XCX. Do you think you were part of kind of like breaking that mold? I always knew when I started making music that I wasn't going to compromise the truth because I grew up listening to musicians sing about what they were actually doing and that was what I loved. I remember hearing the first Iggy Pop record, I was like, that's what being on drugs sounds like. And I was like, I have no idea what kind of drugs, but like that sounds like he's on drugs and he's being honest. And I loved that it wasn't bullshit. And so I just wanted to make music that wasn't compromising the truth of what I do. If you party and you happen to have a vagina, like somehow when I first came out, I got so much shit for that. Yeah. But it's just the truth of like, Men have been doing this and celebrated in music for all of time. Just because I have a vagina doesn't mean that I can't also sing, work really hard, make great music, and yeah, I fucking party. And I'm not sorry. <laughs> That's what I find it funny how people think, especially with females, if you like going out and having fun or if you have a, like a fun personality that you're dumb. Yeah, oh my God. Everybody loves to just like put you in a category and I am here to just not allow it. Because you can be all the things. And who the fuck says you can't? When you first came out, TikTok became sort of like almost this meme song. It was the start of the internet where memes were becoming a thing. Whereas now I feel like a lot of artists write songs with memes in mind. Like they want it to get remixed on TikTok and for people to yeah. dance to it. Do you think that's a positive or a negative for the music industry? Hmm, I don't think you're, it's ever a negative if you're making art. So for me, I think you win 
if you put the pen to the paper because it takes the most balls to try. Do you go on TikTok? I am learning. <laughs> I am learning TikTok. I did my first one. I'm so proud. <laughs> How was it? <laughs> kind of shit, but I tried and trying is everything. <laughs> What do you think is the biggest misconception about you? Um, I am a big fan of not reading comments about me. So I have no idea what people think about me, which might I say has been so liberating. I would encourage people to just like live and be you and don't fucking worry about it. To me, that's taking the high road. Perfect wrap up. <laughs> the interview is done. Thank you so much, Kesha. Thank you.